Hey guys, welcome back to another video with the High Mountain Homestead. I'm really excited to shoot this one. Um, I've, we're doing two things on today's video. Number one, um, I want to introduce you to the lambs this, that we got this spring. Um, and then two, I wanted to show you the setup that my, my sheep mentors have. They have a little bit more land than me. They also have more connections, so they let their sheep graze on, on other properties. But um, I thought it might be useful for you guys to see what that looks like. All right, so something you might notice in this video is we have four different si or sorry, three different sizes of sheep. Um, you can see two of them in this shot. We have our mature ewes that are the moms, and uh, they're new lambs. And these lambs are, each of them are about a month old, give or take. And then here is a lamb that uh, is a little bit older that's been weaned already. And so right now my ewes are hanging out with the ewe uh, lambs that have been weaned already from my mentor's uh, property. So. Let me just uh, show you right here. So we have four ewes. This one is uh, Winnie. She she comes from a different line than the rest of my three, but she is a prolific mother. Um, these, I don't know if it's these three exactly, but um, she's had three rams for her second year. And she had two rams her first year. So she's kind of like our Malcolm in the middle sheep. Uh, back there is Hermione. This was her first year uh, lambing, and she had twins, which is really solid. And then back here, <clears throat> go to this hallway. You see some babies over here. Still got their bands on them. <clears throat> um, that is Diana back there. She is our. F she is one of my original in my first trio. Um, love that sheep. She twinned this year, which is excellent, and I think we even got a U out of her. We got more Rams than U's this year, but uh, really happy to have another U out of her. And then heading back here, last girl, Tula, uh, with this lamb that's not hers. <laughs> um, she gave us a single this year, so we had a triple, two doubles and a single. So I'm really, really happy to say a, you know, granted this is small numbers, only four, four U's, but 200% lambing rate, which is, which is just awesome. So these lambs are so cute. Uh, I wish I was, I was here at midday or not midday. Um, the end of the day when it cools off and the lambs run around in the pasture. But since the other half of this video is showing you what his setup looks like. Let's just talk about this pasture. What I love about <clears throat> my friend and mentor setup is all these different paddocks. Um, so if I had to guess, I'm, I'm sitting on maybe a half acre paddock right here. Ah, maybe a little bit less than a half acre. <clears throat> and uh, it's a little bit warm right now, so that's why they're still hanging out inside but this is where the his ewe lambs my ewes and my my uh yeah my ewes and lambs and his ewe lambs that have already been weaned can hang out out here and then he has this totally separate paddock that is for uh the ram lambs that have been weaned and so one of these, I'm not sure which one it is yet, is going to accompany us on our big move. And he's going to be our first ram that we keep. We used to have a ram named Aries. Um, it just didn't make sense for us to keep him on such a small property. Now that we're upgrading our property, we're going to have a ram. And uh, so one of these little uh, lambs is going to be our ram that we, we take out east with us. But what I love about this property is that they have uh, these two very separate distinct paddocks and what's kind of neat he's kind of made it a permanent structure but he's gotten these you know panels and uh, so you can make it one or you can take a couple of these links out and turn it into one pasture if you would like to do that um, where are his other sheep you might ask well um, <clears throat> his his mature ewes and his mature rams are off on on other pastures with uh, some other friends and connections that he has. But um, I just wanted to, to kind of come out here and show you what this really looks like. 
And you know, there's one very small paddock over here. Um, it's probably not even a quarter of an acre. But what I love about what he's done here is in Utah, we have a really late spring. It's the uh, middle of May right now. And look at this grass. That's pretty good for the middle of May, I'd say. <clears throat> It's because he uh, he only has lambs out on this pasture, I think at least. That's why he's got such high pasture. So what's nice is he can put his, he can offload his mature sheep once they're weaned, um, leave the lambs here, put the mature sheep elsewhere, and uh, let his pasture kind of bounce back. And then when he uh, brings them all back, he he's got a good pasture. See, he's also got this small paddock over here on the other side of his driveway. All in all, I think they're making tremendous use of the space that they have. I think they have one and a half acre right here. And it looks to me like they have um, almost a full acre of pasture here. And I would call it pretty good pasture for, for Utah. Not only is it good pasture, but the setup is good because he can rotate the sheep back and forth. Um, and it's also backs right up to the barn that, um, you know, he's got hay in there right now. So they're more inclined to eat that hay than they are to graze, which is, uh, which is great. Saves you pasture. All right. Well, thanks again for, for watching this, this quick little video here. Um, really excited about these sheep, really excited about growing the flock um, a little bit bigger. Would have liked more rams, or sorry, would have liked more ewes and less rams, but... You get what you get and you don't have a fit. That's what I tell my toddler, so that's that's the lesson I gotta apply to apply to myself today. Mm -hmm.